Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is David Alexander Cantu, your teacher of Socio English. So this program, we learn English socially because that's the best way to learn. That's how we remember. That's how it makes. That's how it's fun, you know. And uh, actually, studies have shown that uh, most people learn language socially. Okay, when you're speaking to other people. So the way it works is I we will I'm, I'm going to give you a few um, some vocabulary here just very short you'll watch a movie and you'll be ready for the session and in the session we work a lot in pairs you know so we have a few students maybe four students in, uh, per class you know and we do a lot of pair work where I correct you but you ask each other questions I will give you some questions I will give you some topics and we will discuss this okay so today we're going to talk about the internet an internet museums. Okay, so it's very, very interesting. Very, very interesting topic here. So let's look at this. Okay. So first, we're going to look at some grammar points. Okay, let's look at some grammar. Okay, so the first one is the passive voice. So passive voice is when the subject, okay, when the the, the, the noun, the, the beginning of the sentence doesn't do the action. They it's re they receive the action or the action is done to them okay so it's the passive voice so basically the way you do it is the noun then you have the verb to be okay then you have the past participle which is the third form okay so it's an example the active voice is i created the lesson okay i do the action i work i am working now i am creating it now I create the lesson. Now the passive voice, the passive voice, you start with what is created. Okay, the lesson. So the beginning of the lesson, the, be the beginning of the, the, sorry, of the sentence starts with the object, which is the lesson. And then here it was, is the past of to be. The lesson was, and then created. It's the third form, the past participle, created lesson was created by me okay so this is how you do the active and passive active voice mcdonald's makes burgers okay you know mcdonald's everyone knows mcdonald's maybe you like mcdonald's maybe you don't like mcdonald's maybe you've never tried mcdonald's but mcdonald's they make burgers okay so mcdonald's makes it makes the company makes burgers okay active passive burgers are made okay so the burgers which is the object here begins it starts so it's the subject in here in the sentence burgers are made by mcdonald's okay so that's it also another one is to get used to okay so we talked a few word a few weeks ago about i used to okay so for example i used to study all day Okay, now when you say get used to, okay, is something becomes normal. I've become accustomed to it. Okay, so for example, I got used to teaching online. So now I don't teach face to face at the university, I only teach online. So, and now it's normal for me. I got used to it. I got used to teaching online. Okay. So that's the second expression to get used to something. Okay. Expressions. It's a waste of money. Okay. When something is a waste of money means you spend a lot of money and you don't spend it well. Okay. It's not a good way to use your money. Okay. So for example, let's say if if you go to, let's say you like to go eat, you know, uh, you know, you like to eat out, you like to go to restaurants to eat. Well, some people say it's a waste of money because you spend so much money. You can save money if you eat at home. If you go to the restaurant, it's a, it's a waste of money. Okay. So that's a waste of money. So another one is to be into something that means to to if you like something if you are a fan 
of something. So for example, I am, so that's the verb to be, I am into, okay? I am into football or soccer. Okay, that means I like soccer. I like football. I am into it. Okay, a very nice expression. I am into soccer. I am into football. It means I like football. I'm fond of football. I, you know, yes, a lot of words, you know, uh, for, you know, for that, but that wasn't. So to pitch an idea to someone, that means kind of to present something, maybe to present an idea to someone, to pitch it. Pitch it means, you know, you present it, you tell them your idea, okay? In a way where you want to sell it. It's almost like you want to sell it. You want to pitch the idea to them, okay? Very, very good expression here to pitch an idea to someone. So for example, if you have a business, you want to pitch the idea to some investors because the investors then will give you some money for your business, okay? Vocabulary, to fund. To fund means to give money, okay? So for example, the government is funding a program to help people. Okay, outdated means old. You don't use it anymore. Outdated, something is outdated. It's old, it's from the past. It's not modern. Exhibition, exhibition is when you show a lot of things for you have, you, have, you for example, have an art exhibition. Okay, art, you show art. So, oh, here, here's some Monet. Here is some Van Gogh. You know, here is some Picasso. Okay, fancy is very elegant, expensive, elegant, high class. Masterpiece, wow, masterpiece means something great, like, wow, it's a masterpiece. It is a very expensive, it is the best work, the best work of someone. So typically it's art, it can be a song, the song is a masterpiece. Movies can be masterpieces. Okay, very, very, it's like the best work that someone did. Okay, priceless. Normally it means there is not, there isn't a price to it, but it can also mean very expensive. When something is priceless means you can't pay for it. It's so special that no price would be enough. Okay, that's pretty much it. Supplement is um, when you have something additional that you get. Okay, so when you, for example, I, I like to supplement my diet. It means I take some vitamins. I eat very healthy. You know, I eat very, I eat great food, but I also supplement my diet or I take supplements. It means extra vitamins, extra minerals. I supplement. Accessible is when you can reach it. And something is accessible is you can get to it. It is open. It is available to people. It's, it's possible for people to get it. Replicate is to make a copy. Okay. Replicate means to make a copy to do the same thing. Okay. Then uh, that was done before. Okay. So this is your video. If you can watch this video, it would be great. Watch the video. Like last time, I recommend watching it twice. First time with subtitles. Second time without subtitles so that you can, uh, so that your mind can understand, you know, the, um, the speaker's words. Okay, guys, you know, so hope this, this, uh, you learned something here. We're going to practice all this. We have a great, very, very interesting lesson for you. So you don't want to miss this lesson. You don't want to miss it. It's very, very practical, very fun. And you're, you're going to learn because we learn in teams with groups of people. Okay, so this is how we learn. So I will see you in class, everyone, and uh, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.